I just built a fully human in the loop calendar agent in N8N using no code. So what I'm gonna say is create an event for tonight with Michael Scott for dinner at 5 p.m. But as you can see, we have a scheduling conflict. So I set that off to the agent. It's going to look at our calendar events as well as get Michael Scott's contact information. And then it's gonna send us a message to approve. So here's what we got back. You've requested to create an event for dinner tonight at 5 p.m. with Michael Scott. Although Michael has two email addresses. So which one do you want us to send it to? Additionally, I found an existing event scheduled for today from 417 to 517, which is a scheduling conflict. Would you like us to proceed with creating the event for 5 p.m. or do you want to reschedule, delete? What do you want to do? So now I'm giving feedback. I said use his business email and keep the time. And as soon as we send this off, it goes back to the workflow to go to the correction agent to make a revision to our request. Now we can see in Telegram, we have a new intent, create an event for dinner tonight at 5 p.m. with Michael Scott using his business email address. As you can see, we have the details of the event right here with the correct address. And then it asks us to confirm if this is correct. So we can go in here and say, correct, send that off. And then we'll see in the workflow, it's going up to the calendar agent. And now it's creating that event for us. So we were fully in the loop, making sure everything was correct. So now you can see that the event has been created with Michael's business email. Even though there's a scheduling conflict, it's okay because we approved it ourselves. If you wanna learn more about how I built this or even download this workflow for free, then check out my channel. See you guys over there.